on uh, YouTube this is the new installment to my channel retro toy corner uh, today I'm reviewing Autobot Jazz or Jazz from Transformers you know him as the lieutenant uh, second in command almost for Optimus Prime trusted right hand man I'm reviewing a toy from the fall of Cybertron the video game um, I'm fairly new at this so Bear with me, I'm gonna have better setup and stuff like that. I gotta get a new tripod and all that good stuff. But um yeah, just a little toy review. I got it today. It can actually came in the mail today and I decided to record it today. Um I'm not gonna show you how to transform it. There's other reviews that show you how to transform it. It was a little difficult for me to transform it because I haven't transformed a transformer in years. So I'm gonna give you um show you it in robot form. I'm gonna show you it in Cybertronian form or his car form, a uh, Cybertron car form, and um, I'm gonna give you my review of it. And I hope you enjoy the review. So, about to crack him open. Uh, I will be back once I finally open him and have him out of the package and out of the twisty ties and all that. So. Yeah, but on a side note, I will be buying more Transformers, the Fall of Cybertron line probably, and older G1s and remodels and prior to Takara sets or, or whatever. I'm probably going to definitely get the Dinobots because I like the Dinobots. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little cold, a little spring cold right there, but uh, hey man, let's get to opening the package and now we'll be right back once I have it open and he's in robot form with his blaster in his hand so we're back and this is jazz Autobot jazz I guess you cannot I guess the original word for jazz is uh, copyrighted because it is in music form so I guess they that's why they put Autobot jazz instead on the box uh, which is kinda uh, stupid and retrospect but um who am I to judge uh so we well we know him as jazz we know him as jazz in the movie jazz in the G1 cartoon uh, I was kind of shocked that he wasn't in Transformers Prime I would have liked him to see him in Transformers Prime I mean we got Will Jack why not jazz I mean even though Will Jack character remind me of Drift from the comic book but still yeah, sorry for the background and all that good stuff. Like, like I said, I gotta get a better setup. I'm gonna about to get a drawing table and stuff like that. So I have a better setup, better tripod and all that. Only thing I, I think about his robot form I did not like was that big gape, gaping hole in the middle where his head at, and his head was just on it like that lever. I mean, it's cool from afar, but when you come up on the on the figure, it's just that gaping hole right there. I wish they would have just like put some guns or something like right there or uh jazz is known for his speakers in the cartoon i mean throw that in there. i mean i know they're following the game mode and how he looks in the game i mean in the game he looks awesome <coughs> he looks amazing excuse me for coughing but um let's transform him into vehicle mode and i will be right back with him in cybertronian vehicle form and we're back, and this is Jazz in his vehicle form. I have his blaster in the hood. Uh, you can put it on the hood, or you can put it in the hands that's in the back. Uh, that was another thing I did. I had a problem with. Uh, it had hole. Uh, it was like a big gaping hole in the back. I wish I would put like somewhere you can have headlights or something like that. But uh, all you see is hands, and which is cool uh, because it's, it's a smaller figure if they gonna if, I'm not sure if there's like an ultra deluxe figure or a larger figure but they did I hope they would have did a better uh, mode for it I like the mode of the toy a lot of people get don't really like it because it it's hard to transform it and it's hard to put it back into vehicle mode once you is already in is it already comes in robot form so yeah, but I like it. I like the color scheme. I wish they would have put like a little gray, grayish tone, a little black lines, thin lines. I would have wish they would have added a little more black to contrast the the midnight blue and uh, light white or sun bright white. See, I'm an artist, so I know these type of colors and uh, stuff like that. But other than that, I like it. Um, 
I'm not sure whatever transformer I'm going to bring to you next. So it depends on who I'm who I'm going to buy next. I'm thinking about either side swipe or cliff jumper, maybe uh what you call it? Warpath if they have a fall for Cybertron toy for Warpath. Maybe Optimus Prime, maybe um Megatron, maybe Shockley. Who knows? You just gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode of Retro Toy Corner. Um I'm in the process of I should be having a, a never retro comic book corner coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh thanks for the support. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm fairly new, so <laughs> Give me a break. Peace.